Thank you, Desselberg, for the tag. Looks like we're back at the Attack on Titan news, or in this case, specifically, the production company behind Attack on Titan, Studio Wit. You see, there was a 25-year-old woman who apparently sent them an email threatening them with arson. And what did Studio Wit do? They beefed up security, and they turned the email over to the police. And now she's arrested. And it seems she has also apparently admitted to the charges. It looks like they're going after her for disrupting business, not actually going after her for arson, because, of course, luckily she didn't commit arson. She threatened that she was going to, but she didn't actually do it yet. I'm curious if Studio Wit is going to go after her for civil charges as well. For example, if they're going to try to recoup the losses that they incurred for spending more money on security and potentially even inflicting emotional distress on employees. But aside from that, I'm actually kind of surprised by this news because I wasn't aware of this and I've been covering news of people threatening arson. It occurred about a month ago with uh, Dragon Maid Season 2 and Kyo Annie. Most of those threats were on TikTok, though, not direct emails to the company. Not to justify it, I'm simply explaining why it seems law enforcement hasn't gone after those people. It's not as easy. And as awful as it is to leave terrible comments like that on social media, I'm sure it's a step above that to actually send an email to the company about that. But anyways, that's besides the point. Regarding this 25-year-old woman and Studio Wit, there doesn't seem to be any information on specifically why she wanted to do this. Like with Dragon Maid, it seems they were upset about Illulu and other works people in the studio had worked on. 2019, if I recall, the dude was claiming that Kyo Annie infringed on his copyright. I'm yeah, not sure what's going on with this one, but I'm happy that this is the news because it could have been much worse. This could have been another Kyo Annie situation if she followed through with what she sent them in the email. Hopefully people stop doing this crazy stuff to anime studios like now. That'd be nice. And uh, yeah, thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.